Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing us another episode of the hottest design show on YouTube, Design Royale. Presented by Envato Elements, which is basically the ultimate creator subscription. With over 11 plus million creative assets, video templates, graphic templates, mock-ups, photos, fonts, whatever you guys would think. And not to mention a seven day free trial where you can try all this stuff for literally free. Please click the link in the description down below and please genuinely just click and try it. I guarantee you're not going to find, you're going to find like four different things you're going to use today. I guarantee it. We wanted to say thank you to Envato Elements for providing a brand new iPad Air and Apple Pencil to today's Design Royale champion. Design Royale is an eight person head to head competition. After the first round, we cut that eight into four. After that round, we cut it into two. And then after the final round, we have a 1v1 against the best two in the episode and they battle it out with a completely new brief. However, let's now get a better look at our contestants for today's video, starting off with Ryan, who is a production artist over at Adidas. Peons, who is a branding and art director over at PG Esports. Outdated, who is a 17 year old designer. Jarvis, who is a self-proclaimed college kid just trying to find his way. Enzo, who is a graphic brand identity designer. He is a repeat, so that's gonna be pretty awesome to see him again. Seb, who is an art director over at Overlay Forge. Mavi, who does brand designer direction over at Paper Crowns. And lastly, DNA, who is a creator director for Team Execution. Now for the brief these guys are working with is known as Leash and Lift. Leash and Lift is a gym dog daycare hybrid built for those who actually work out but do not want to leave their best friends at home. We are looking for a logo mark or a type that portrays a fun, playful nature of a pet daycare mixed with the aggression energetic tone of a gym. And honestly, I think this brief is pretty sick. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what these guys got going on. With that being said, let's get started. Three, two, one. <laughs> Start designing. That, 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 that was funny. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the brief is killing me. This might be one of the toughest briefs. Very nervous for this one. Okay, yeah, I am absolutely freaking out at the moment. All right, I'm nervous. I'm shaking and bacon. All right, George, we are back. Logo Royale sponsored by Envato. Uh, what's up, man? How would you start this first brief? It's also really cool, by the way. It's a cool idea. And I think I would focus mostly on putting the two together because they contrast in kind of the tone. I would spend maybe like 10, 15 minutes just conceptualizing what would a mix of that look like? Maybe the lift side of the logo should be more serious, more geometric, uh, and the leash part should be more playful. I'm trying to find a way to connect these two, and it's so hard. You see what I'm getting at? Almost like he's lifting the weights. This is going to take me the longest. This part right here, and once I get the font down, the mood will be there. I'm pretty sure I can sabotage like straight away, so I might as well just sabotage someone. I'm in the mood for some evil. Well, Seb wants to sabotage Summer. Oh, that's just rude. Bro, whoever sabotaged me. So it's already so hard. Ooh, I like this one. We can play with it. Oh, and outdated with the back said, I want to sabotage Enzo. Dude, already with these sab... These guys are menaces. I got sabotaged. Okay. I think it feels pretty good. We have this dog. Instead of it holding like a bone, we will have a dumbbell. This still does not look like weights like at all though. To be honest with you, that doesn't look half bad. I'm going mental. I'm stressing, god dang. See, I can vectorize this relatively quick if I get it right, but I'm literally not getting it right, which is... <laughs> Which is the problem. <laughs> We're gonna go with something like this. We're just gonna make a uh, badge type logo for this. This is such a complicated brief. Maybe I can rotate this single letters. Could be something. I think the direction I'm going for is kind of more gym based than dog daycare. And obviously the bone is the only thing that represents it. We're gonna have to revive it with colors. Yeah, we might be onto something. Okay, yeah. I like this, I like this. This is actually coming together pretty nicely. I can't figure out a concept to do. Summer asked for critique. What's up, Summer? I, I think if you're not using an icon, you're going to need to really focus on the mock-ups. Now there's a problem. We have these white space that's really bad. It's not like super aggressive. I don't know what to do. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm do a major edit, edit right now to make it actually 3D, you know, because it feels so flat. That, that, that kind of looks like a dog holding a dumbbell. Maybe by adding some ground texture on the lift part, I can get something. And Ryan asked for a critique. Let's go see what Ryan's all about. It almost feels more as like a posh doggy place and then jimming comes second i think it might be interesting to try making it more playful there's nothing i can think of right now for this maybe if we do like a thunder strike 
back. It's almost like it's it's winking. And with that, 30 minutes are left in this challenge. Also, Pion's just uh, oh, Enzo's getting the <laughs> Enzo just got sabotaged again. Why me? Bro, if anything, I'm the weakest link here. I'm gonna do a social media campaign for these guys. I'm reverting again. I really want to make this work. I'm not crying, y'all. It's not the brief. It's the eye drops. I'm not doing good. I'm not going, doing good on time. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna test something really quick. We're gonna fill this with black. This and this. I'm gonna use a critique. I think you're overthinking a lot of the design and there's a lot of stuff you can take out of this. Now we're getting somewhere. I could maybe invert the geometric form. I don't know how I feel about this. I do kind of like it. I'm feeling the pressure now. This is hectic. I can't come up with anything right now. I'm working as fast as I can now. Wait, I think I got something. Okay, okay. I like this. Yo, that's a banger right there. I don't know if this is enough. DNA asked for critique. Let's see what he's got. A lot of your variations in your type have the same tone where they're leaning more towards like the friendly pet side. I'm curious to see maybe a couple more explorations in something more aggressive. Now, with just a few minutes left, I want to talk about Envato Elements for a quick second. With over 450,000 people worldwide with Envato Elements, it's one of those things that it's just, it, once you know about it, you never want to stop using it. Take it from me. I use a 3D features over on Envato Elements to get some really cool perspectives of PNGs that I would normally never find the right perspective of. Not to mention over 200k graphic templates or over 80,000 presentation templates known as mock-ups that if you're for logo design especially mock-ups are such a crucial part of building a project a presentation or just like having an overall brief to really bring to a client the best part is this per monthly subscription it's unlimited downloads meaning you can download literally the entire site if you really want to with again 11 million creative assets cancel anytime and really really simple licensing i think you'll be a little bit crazy if you don't at least check it out so please go ahead and check out the description down below but uh, let's just continue watching all these guys pop off i just my confidence just went whoosh. Uh, i don't like it it's all come down to this i think this works i think this works i really really don't know about that hopefully this is what we're looking for oh I'm not happy with it at all. I think it's bad. But you guys have 20 minutes now to mock up your designs. No more change to the actual designs, only colors, and no also changes to the font either. Only 20 minutes to mock up. With that being said, three, two, one, start your mock ups. Bro, I don't have any mock ups on this design machine. This is not downloading, bro. What the f am I supposed to do? Maybe we should go with the, maybe a poster. I mean, we out here, you know? We on a sign? Okay, let's get another maca. We need like a shirt. If it didn't take a thousand years to open up, I would use one of Sesso's packs from his uh, everything pack, but he has really big packs because they're really good and great for the value. You should get one. <laughs> I think that works. I'm making like a care package, which the gym can send out monthly, which includes like uh, dog treats. I think that's good. I think I'm okay with these mock-ups. I'm not feeling confident about this one at all, but I do hope that I can uh, pull it off. Yeah, I think I got it all covered. I think this kind of worked out. This worked out, I think. We're open for the best. Cross your fingers, guys. And just like that, Vector's down. Time is up. What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna give each of you guys a chance to kind of go through your briefs, your presentations, give a nice little elevator pitch, and we're gonna start off with DNA. The overall feel of the logo is more friendly, but that's, that's uh, I thought about it, that it's gonna be better for it to be a little bit more friendly rather than, let's say, uh, more aggressive. Most of the audience who will have bets and go to the gym, they're just regular people who just would like to work out and stay healthy. Enzo, you are up next. I chose to go for something more aggressive. So as you can see, it is the face of a wolf and the side of a barbell. I wanted to go for something sharp and bold, energetic, and I think the vault green only amplifies that. Jarvis, you are next. Went with just a uh, text logo. I didn't go with a mark. Kind of something similar to Nike. Uh, we threw in the paw on the A and I came up with the slogan. Uh, I think if it's used correctly, it can be implemented in a lot of different locations in the gym. I just didn't have enough time to make those mock-ups. Okay, outdated. My, my whole idea was uh, a dog holding a dumbbell instead of a bone. The whole idea was to actually integrate like very vibrant colors with a very uh, minimalistic approach to it almost. Peons, grab next. My main idea was going for a logo type with uh, two different typefaces. One for the playful side of the brand, the other one for the energetic part of the gym. Also, the color palette has a bright red that's 
like the energetic part. Ryan, you're up next. Originally, I went with a much more playful type. I decided to transition into this more aggressive athletic type. Then I was like, how do I make it playful? It's it's so aggressive. So I took it and put it on like this um, balance beam sort of deal and kind of off kiltered it. Seb, you're up next. So I kind of went for more curved, um, approachable, playful, illustrative style. It's supposed to be kind of a guy holding up a dumbbell, uh, but the dumbbell is like a dog bone. I thought that was a pretty funny kind of uh, quirky idea. Last up is Summer. I came up with this really bold typography for the lip side of the brand and a very playful and inviting dancer of typeface for the leash. The color and the typefaces create a whole different universe for the gym side while also allowing the pet side to live together. We are in for a treat. I can already tell we are fighting for our lives in these comments. And honestly, it should happen because this is going to be a difficult four. Let's start off with Enzo, George. How do you feel about Enzo's concept? I'm actually surprised that nobody made a comparison between a dog and a wolf being that a wolf is more aggressive and that's yep. kind of what we're looking for. Yeah. But the fact that the dumbbell also doubles as a leash and a collar, I think is just a really yeah. smart decision. So up next would be Summer. Who, how do you, what do we feel about Summer's concept? He delivered on a lot of the, a lot of these assets. I think they're very smart. Seeing how the typography is used, the tone of it feels kind of like vintage Nike, has a nice like playful aggressive tone. A lot of you guys might only see typography, but there's a lot of emotion in the choices. There's a lot of explanation in the mock-ups. So you can't ignore that. And this is very, very solid. DNA's concept. What are you feeling on DNA's concept? I love the icon, the boldness of it, and it feels very balanced, but has a relationship between the bone, gym. I'm still not 100% sold on the type. The tone leans a bit more towards playful, and I don't necessarily see gym as much. I get it for sure. So, okay. Seb's concept, what do you think over here? Seb's mock-ups to me, I think are very solid. We were talking about how there isn't necessarily one that leans towards a gym, which is a bit concerning, but yeah. I like the idea of doing like a dog, like protein bar. So I think the mock-ups, maybe I lean more towards Seb. As far as the icon, I think DNA executed maybe a little bit better. Ryan's concept, what are you thinking over here? In some aspects, it maybe feels a little bit unbalanced. Yeah, but the mock-ups are nice. Quite literally, by I the like, way, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. I like seeing it on the sign, so I think that was thoughtful. And then the, the apparel to me feels athletic as well. To me, I think the idea of this balancing idea is, is a little bit too too literal. And I feel like it's a little a little less played out for like a logo mark. What about Pions? Obviously, it's the most abstract, which I can appreciate that he can even process something like this in his brain in an hour. I love the presentation. To me, his mock-ups are on the stronger side. This feels like a campaign that would be done by like a studio. I think it hits the mark on being playful and aggressive, having that bright red. Beats me how we're gonna choose all of these, but we have, wait, this is not even done. We're not even done yet. We're not Jarvis, even done. Jarvis's concept. What are you thinking over here? His decision to take things away definitely supported the design. Not 100% sold in that there's only two mock Ups, but I think the mock-ups themselves are really strong. That paw itself kind of gives me the shape of like a kettlebell. And since he relied on that kettlebell or sorry, paw shape in the A, if you were to experiment with that a little bit more to make it feel more gym equipment related, this would feel a little bit more played to uh, the brief in my opinion, personally. The last person we got to look through is outdated. What are you thinking over here? It's a very solid logo and I, I really do like the type. I like that the ampersand has some energy to it by kind of breaking through the boundaries. Honestly, maybe one of my favorite logos out of all the, the contestants if okay. we just isolate it by itself. I'm actually really appreciative of this as well. Like I do, I think the mock-ups are a little bit kind of like, eh, like, we get it, 20 minutes, not a lot of time. Maybe in, in his strength, it would've been better to also kind of play them out and kind of just more or less show the logo itself because that is the strongest part. Give me two people that you think are absolutely for sure going through. If I had to pick two people on the spot, I think I would probably end up going with... All right, so that, was, that obviously was not easy 
not even in the slightest bit. With that being said, Enzo, Peon, Summer, and Outdated are moving forward, and the concepts were too freaking nice, and to be honest, round two is gonna be a struggle. Our next brief is known as Pinfall. Pinfall is a hard style reset game, similar to titles like Getting Over It or Jump King. The game uses bright chaotic colors paired with a nostalgic sound design. We are looking for a memorable logo or type that conveys the title of our game, Pinfall and shares elements of a classic pinball machine. They'll have one hour to design and 20 minutes to mock up. Let's get it going. So, three, two, one, start designing. Okay, so this one is way more different than my style. I think I, I, I wanna go for something blocky. Also wanna make it modern but retro. This logo is gonna be font strong. Everything else just needs to work around it. Yeah, I think I'm going for a vintage approach. Maybe this actually seems just funky, but actually I think that looks nice. We have to go for a, I would say logo type. But I would like to have also maybe a single P as a logo. I don't know. I can make the I into a spring. I just have to execute it right. I think this should look good. These colors look so good. Need the vibes of an old pinball machine. How are we gonna do that though? Maybe our character could be like a pinball. I'm actually kind of nervous for this, but not as much as the previous one. What if we did pixel art? I don't want it to be too detailed. And I also don't want it to be too basic looking. I really like this type of eyes. I don't know if it will look good, to be honest. This is so complicated. I'm thinking kind of a three balls falling down. I think it's not that bad, but much more work. Okay, so what I want to do is make this part of the F connect to the A. I've completely changed the font I was initially going for. I felt like uh, it didn't feel arcade-ish enough. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't know if I like this typeface anymore though. See, that's perfect. That's perfect. Mmm, it's not good to be honest. Maybe the ball here? Nah. Can do the same with the spring, but I feel like it's gonna lose its character. I've wasted some time, but I need more references. It's missing something, but what? Honestly don't know what I'm going to do for the presentation. There we go. This looks so good. That looks so good. We should add something in the background. The plan of action is to get like a Steam app website or something like that. And then I can take a screenshot of that and edit it to have the pinfall game, obviously. I'm out of ideas. Perspective. <gasps> this is so hard. Oh my God. That looks so good. Maybe this could work. I'm not sure about that. 28 minutes remaining. Ah, oh, this is a bad one. This is a lot of work, bro. Maybe just a nice triangle and then put that in the back. It looks like it's it's like a tunnel almost. Okay, I like that. What else should I, I it needs to, it needs more. This is super hard. Okay, so at this point, I'm just experimenting with layer styles. I'm searching for another typeface. I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Actually, this one is wasn't that bad. The main thing we can do right now is maybe make like a metal ball. I could maybe make the, the ladder fall. Wait, actually not bad. Terraria background. Yo, wait, that fits. That looks like a metal ball to me. Another round carried by, by the typeface. This looks nice. Okay, I'm saying that now I'm gonna animate this in uh, After Effects. I'm kind of stuck at the logo right now. I cannot figure out a layer style I want for it. See, that's good. But then what else do I need? Do I need to design the game? That's some nice purple. That's also nice. I'm doing this really quickly. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a really cool palette. One minute left. I've never designed a game. Colors are great. Logo type, I don't know about that. I just want to give it that 80s look. I'm designing a pixel pinball right now, dude. Hey, so my God, I'm going so fast. I don't know if I can sell this. Maybe with the mockups, I don't know. I'll let you guys go straight back into it. Three, two, one, start your mockups. 20 minutes on the clock. This is um, X level stress. I'm going to do it. Let's open Adobe After Effects. I don't know what to think of this. Okay, designing for games is so fucking hard. Unexpected drawing error. What the f is this? Oh my god. I have to shut down. So currently I'm making like a UI for the application, like how it will look if it was a actual game. Oh my god, I have to redo this. What the f is this? 
Um, this could be like an app icon. Okay, it's not crashing. That's Pog. I'm drawing inspiration from like that old pinball game that used to be on your computers. I personally, I think I'm kind of confident with this. Oh my god, one minute. I have to go fast, fast, fast. I'm pretty confident in this one. If I go down, I go down tr for trying. Okay, I think I'm done. I have pretty high hopes for this one. This was so harder than the first one. So I guess interesting. So now we're moving into elevator pitches. We're going to start with Enzo. I went for something very retro themed. I went for big use of gradients, sharp edges, as well as a playful type. Here is a snapshot, a little snapshot of the game. I went for something definitely more retro. Went for pixel art. Uh, Summer, you're next. I landed on this word mark and this logo, which is kind of the flippers on the pinball machine. I also added this double meaning, which almost looks like the pinballs are inside the flippers and they're almost coming towards that one big ball in the middle. You can see how it has this noisy grunge texture look to it to give it that vintage nostalgic look. Can we get outdated? What's up? My initial idea for the logo was having like that whole arcade theme, like bringing back the past almost. I have the logo in like a pixel art formation where the letters fall at the end. The eye here is like a spring with a ball in it, emulates the pinball. And then peons. For the brief, uh, I had in mind this concept of the double L's with one of them falling down. The logotype also has a um, short version on um, proper mark with just the first letter. I've managed to put out a little logo animation for, for the logotype. Whoa. Okay, this is actually going to be really tough. They all went completely different directions and the, the, the theory of their art direction. Starting off with Enzo, what do you feel like? Enzo's is very close to what we were expecting in the brief so i think it feels probably the most nostalgic i appreciate the game concept i still think there may have been better uses of his time but the logo itself i think is strong and i think even just having the the pixel art low poly in the background helps support the idea that he was gone for yeah it also has that character of which like the the, the other competing titles like are getting over it like the silliness of it in a, in a sort of nature with that retro feeling it definitely does feel like it belongs in the same world what do we feel about outdated concept i think his mock-ups are probably the most useful for context thinking that this would be like an indie game the logo itself i think is fine i think it works i would say i do enjoy that sort of color scheme i enjoy that space theme again the different art direction from everybody else the logo itself you know it was done with like layer style and I wish I can have like more like stricter, not stricter, but more sharp lines. So I can really feel what that logo feels like in its own right. What do we feel about uh, Summer's concept? I think Summer had more really, really useful mock-ups. Having the logo mark as a part of the logo type is also very smart. We get to see how it looks on an app so that that icon helps out a lot. I enjoy the fact that it did include the idea of falling in some way with these balls. If they're on the top, it would feel a lot more different. But since they are on the bottom, it does feel like they are falling to this hole where the objective of the game could be to actually land in a hole in the end of the day, which could be kind of cool. And then last but not least, or I guess last in this case, is Peons. How do we feel about Peons' concept? I, I really like the direction that he was going with, especially at the start. I got to see that mood board with like this rubber hose, really bouncy, elastic style. What he came up with towards the end, I think the concept works. So the animation is is brilliant. I think it looks awesome. It definitely showcases the, the concept of pinball hitting the L and like dropping down. I, I just wish I got to see a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I'm working on a little bit of a mascot. It could have been really cool to include that too, but realistically, given the, the stance and the boldness and the simplicity of it, I still really, really enjoy it. When I when it comes down to it, I, I believe that people are gonna probably be moving on are probably gonna end up being this was a tough challenge and i think we have to look at the brief there's a lot of details in a lot of different directions we can tell that you all went in completely different routes it made the decision very very tough i think one person that i'm going to move forward as our first finalist is going to be summer so the oh, let's go. the presentation was very solid uh i mean we saw last round the the mock-ups were very very helpful i mean i stress that as being 
the most important in this part of the challenge, mainly because you guys all went in different directions with the logo. It was more important now than it was for any other part of our challenges. That only leaves one last spot to compete against Summer. There's just one that kind of had a character to it, a, a, a drive, a sort of emotion that you almost can easily just create into this really cool universe. The next person moving on, or I guess the last person moving on to one of you one against Summer, and one of you guys gonna be crowned Designer Royale, Logo Royale champions. That person competing with him is... Peons. Peons, Yo. we felt that your concept Yo had so much like i first off i think seeing your process with the mood board and overall kind of helped bring to life of what your goal was you saw pretty much you know in, in the sense candidly everyone kind of struggle trying to figure out where it was with that being said i do think the concept overall just had this kind of character to it where you just can't ignore that it kind of feels like this really fun cuphead the stuff the, the sort of stance to it kind of have this boldness to it and i also really appreciate the animation toward it but with that being said summer Peons are gonna be moving on and 1v1ing and one of you guys are gonna be crowned champions. So our brief for today is Voyage, a meditation app inspired by the elements of nature being earth, wind, water, and fire. Our concept derives from the idea of being taken on a journey to escape the stress of daily life. And we're looking for a logo that represents the concept of a voyage through nature while also capturing the elements in a creative way. It can be abstract or literal, but you have to have a detailed explanation describing your concept during the pitch. You'll have 45 minutes to design, 20 minutes to mock up. Are you both ready? Cause I, I I can feel the nerves, but are we are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, kinda. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> so, in three, two, one. Wait, actually, wait a second. 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 Okay, this is the this is the last episode before champion. So realistically, uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit difficult and throw a twist in here. Oh, what's up, Enzo? Oh, hey guys. What's actually happening is. All three of you are competing. So if you do lack here, you do not get to go to the champion series. So yes, Enzo will be joining you. Enzo is aware of the brief. So uh, yeah. Twisted <laughs> human being, Cecil. <laughs> are you guys ready? <laughs> Yo, wait, isn't there another person joining? No, you're good. This is, the, this is, this is it. Three, two, one, start designing. Man, Cecil really outdid himself this time. Okay, this feels like Master Chef. All right. I kind of like this brief because I've done some practice work for meditation apps and stuff. I like these words a lot. They're gonna help me help the process. I was thinking Avatar: The Last Airbender, but yeah, this is definitely not gonna work. So the next option, check my trusty book. Let's jump into Pinterest, maybe? All right, so I want something dynamic. How am I gonna incorporate all four elements? I have a phone that's called voyage i must use this one <laughs> arrows could definitely be a good option actually when you see the brief you're like oh i'm comfortable with this i can do this and then when it comes to the actual design i'm like nope this i can do this this is super cool to be honest and it fits the brief so well something like that actually that kind of works i have this one called messina sands which looks pretty good to me i need to do something that would stand out i uh, don't really like it as it as it is right now yeah no that would definitely will not work maybe we can use like north star icon that represents like the direction of the voyage i like to sort my fonts out first instead of making the logo and then finding a font to match with it maybe we can put that icon inside the o this is really nice actually this could work they seem a little like corporate it's not bad i think i want to make some more changes to the type though i am digging this it is this is nice so what i'm thinking right now getting like symbolism of each element see if i can kind of combine them together in some way so now we just have to find a way to organize these i think we also need a color palette something something pastel or maybe i can choose colors that represents the elements i'm gonna get tricky here i don't want to do a flame though that's the thing it seems really just stereotypical what if we did fireworks and then now what though create something out of all of that okay okay i like the colors so let's try to use them with the logo <gasps> this could 
that's a setting sun or a rising sun. It could go either way. I think actually a rising sun. Ooh, that's super nice. I'm not gonna lie. I would have put in the time to actually like make this a good curvy wind, but I would lose a lot of time on just doing that. That's super cool. Okay, so we have an icon. Logo wise, I'm strong. It's just every time I've gotten eliminated, it's because of my mockups. All right, let's do some midway check ins starting off with Enzo. I'm okay. I'm really okay with the direction you have right now. I'm just, I just know there's something you can definitely do in the sense of, of, of cleaning the color up, I think. I think you could get some really cool mock ups, and yeah. uh, I think the concept is really good. I think in your pitch, the water concept, you don't really have to. It, it seems like that one was the weaker of the connections. Up next is peons. Let's go on and see what's going on over there. Uh, my suggestion here is I think you kind of agree with yourself as well that the North Star might feel like this sort of, again, generic idea and appropriate, like appropriate scenario in this situation but i do think there's a universe where you can at least use this icon as a mention and then almost kind of like give it some more characteristics as far as the iconography goes for the app either have three logos where it's full logo type you could do one that's the v and the star and then you can do just the star or maybe even the star in the o and last up we have summer we can see uh what's going on over there as well let's maybe say there's a similar idea out there in the universe i also love not the complexity but the simplicity of how these work so well together so i'm actually really excited i would say once you lock in the look and feel you will need to rely heavily on the mock-ups if you want to beat out this person honestly i'm think part of me is thinking i should just trust my gut and go with my original concept there we go finally Awesome. It's like a part of the North Star blurred. I don't know if it can work on the logo, on the actual logo. No. This is actually a not a bad concept on its own. Boom. No. This just feels wrong. I don't know how to describe it. Color is really gonna play a big role in this. Maybe the North Star can be drawn by hand. That looks good. That actually looks good. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know if it's clear that it's a North Star sign. I think I like this one more. Honestly, I might go for the second one. It just looks better. The first one seems too busy. I don't know how much time is left. Now it's just about the fine tuning, I think. I need to shine with those mock-ups, though. This is looking way better than I expected. That works with the tree. That works with the tree perfectly. I guess we are on point. I could also animate this one now i'm gonna open a figma i think we are almost done with the first part that actually works really nicely i think it it works okay so i, I won't break your guys's kind of flow too much but you guys will have 20 minutes to now mock up your designs no changes to the final mark besides color can be made and with that being said three two one start your mock-ups all right let's get into it i'm gonna for sure make the icon app so it's a meditation app i'm thinking some warm colors and that's an app icon right there okay what i'm thinking is showing the home screen yeah this is cool oh my god where is the mock-up i guess i'll go for an animation in 10 minutes i do not have enough time to be f this up i don't think i have time no time left the final seconds are coming down right now yeah i don't have enough time i could have maybe created some other mock-ups instead of an animation i'm okay i tried my best my workflow needs to be better time is up that is it now we're moving into elevator pitches this is the finals so what you say is going to be very very important for your pitch but we're going to start off with Enzo. The original plan was to sort of draw out all the four elements and incorporate them in some way. The logo seemed too busy, so I went for something simpler. I tied in a lot, but I simplified it so it looks simple. But at the same time, there's a lot of thought behind it. It's a rising sun. The bottom is a wave, but it can also the flow can be represented by air as well. It also is a tree. And if you can see, I put the background as a rising sun so you can see it as a horizon. Peons up next. The main idea was to have like a logo type that could also have shorter version of it. Inside of the of the O, uh, we have like a North Star that is actually hand-drawn. So it feels like more to, to the human. The color palette represents the, the four elements. I've also done a little animation that shows like the handwritten 
side of uh, the logo. And then last up would be Summer. What's up? I took the, all of the elements, tying them all together in a green circle. That's the earth. And a nice, elegant, almost peaceful and calm word mark to go with it. So all of these are muted colors, almost uh, as if it's meditative app, so that it's, it's kind of connected to earth tones and stuff. Myself and George are gonna go through this review what you guys just said, look at these mock-ups and really come with the with, with, what we think is the, the, the correct choice here on who's gonna be crown Logo Royale champion. This one is gonna hurt a little bit. Starting off from the top, what are we thinking about uh, Summer's concept? Summer had the most in-depth pitch which helped a lot with his storytelling. And I think he had the most diversity in his deliverables. The type is nice. It definitely feels calm. And I think the icon is maybe on the weaker side. It's definitely presented well with the color choices and the attention to detail. The icon itself is very loud. And, and what I mean by that, there's a lot going on in this small circle. This is scaled down to a small app sign. Is it as memorable as some of these other ones? I do not I do not know for sure. Should we talk about Enzo's concept? Enzo and Summer, they had similar ideas in mind. I think what Enzo was working with initially worked, but I think he did improve it by incorporating the water in, in a more seamless way. I especially enjoyed seeing it on an actual phone mock-up in an app setting. All of the elements that he had previously are still in this logo, but they're almost all simplified and almost created a symbol through these elements. So it doesn't feel like they all got lost. Definitely amongst the stronger of the concept for uh, for sure. We also we gotta consider our last person up, which is Peons. What are you thinking about his concept? I think you and I both agree the type works really well. Wasn't initially sold on the hand-drawn iconography. I think that the initial North Star was fine as it is. He did find a way to incorporate it into a pitch where it feels more human. So I appreciate that there was at least some thought put into it. For me, the, the most elephant in the room is this shirt mock-up. I think it almost makes this voyage feel more like a streetwear. We almost get like this streetwearness of etherealness, which is almost like a little bit different than the direction that uh, I was purposely hoping for. Is it as strong as what a Enzo or a Summer has is the question at hand. I mean, I, <laughs> this sucks, but who do you who do you think goes through if i had to pick someone to take the whole thing and win the challenge out of the three i think i would definitely lean more towards so i'm going to start by saying who will not be moving forward given the brief i mean you guys know how it goes you you've been a part of this the whole way through and you've all done a fantastic job with all of the briefs one person who we think is not going to move forward is peons the concept i think in the first half was very solid i don't know if i was 100 percent sold on the hand-drawn aspect of the icon it's tough in the mock-ups not seeing that full exploration with that i gotta i have to switch the vibes a little bit and just understand that summer and enzo have these really great concepts as well and then you guys it, it, it's up down to you two. One of you guys is gonna be walking with a fat, beautiful prize, this iPad plus Apple Pen. The next person being crowned Logo Royale Champion. Walking with our prize, presented by Envato Elements, which we appreciate so very freaking much, is... Enzo. What? What am I... Enzo's concept, we felt, had a very strong approach to actually simplifying his thoughts into combining these natures that we were uh, looking to have be portrayed inside the logo mark and so, uh, and so on. So, the Enzo, you are our logo design royale champion. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I didn't expect to win. I thought Mavis was stronger personally. Oh my f***ing god. I, I didn't expect to hear my name, bro. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Summer, a second place. I mean, how do you feel about that? Even though it's not exactly what you, of course, wanted, uh, maybe, but like, how do you still feel about how you did during the competition? I think his was uh, uh, way more simpler and memorable than mine and, and kind of stuck to the brief a little more. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the decision you guys took. Myself and George felt that it was very appropriate with the actual production and quality that Peons had, that Peons, is also gonna now join you guys in the champion Yo. series. It only, it only is Yo. fair in this own right. His concepts were very strong. It's not a consolation prize. I believe you would, you, you, you deserve it in every right.
Thank you, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This logo reality was it was intense for sure. My favorite episode so far of Design Real. I want to thank my co-host George as always coming in, giving the perfect amount of critiques and just having you just, also the smile. Like how can you how can you not love the smile? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So, Definitely, yeah, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff you guys want to see and more Logo Royale stuff. And of course, we have the Motion Royale, we have Graphic Royale. There's a lot of Royales here. And also, we got Brief Wars, which is kind of like Design Royale. With that being said, it says some HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay a freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace. And uh, yeah, congrats, Enzo, you, you lucky duck. Thank you so much. Oh my god.